What's up guys, Jake here, Jake Scott Herps, not to confuse the herpes, herpes is nasty, and I'm sure most of your jaws are on the floor right now, and you're all saying to yourself, holy shit, does Jake Scott Herps have a bearded dragon? And uh, you would be correct, this is my little hatchling bearded dragon, his name is Niall, uh, he is a wonderful dragon, I got him uh, a couple days ago, and uh, he's just an amazing little addition. I'm really, really glad I got him. I know I'm kind of infamous for quote-unquote hating on bearded dragons, which is not the case at all, really. I uh, love bearded dragons. I just haven't had the opportunity to keep one in a while, and I figured now was a uh, decent enough time as ever to purchase one. Uh, so here he is. His name is Niall, like I said. I don't know if there's any specific color mutation that is associated with him. He has a little bit of orange around his spines and on his tail, you know, running along his back. I don't know how well you can see that. My phone is on uh, very low brightness right now. I'm trying to save my battery. Uh, but, yeah, there he is. Uh, he's a very tame little dragon. Doesn't mind being held at all. I mean, I guess I haven't seen too many dragons that were not very tame. I know they exist, but uh, he's just a nice little guy. And um, uh, very alert as well. A lot of, you know, tame animals can sometimes actually just be very lethargic. But he's actually quite active and his head moves around a lot he's usually uh, looking around he's quite curious and uh he's just an awesome little dragon and as far as the setup goes pretty simple i have him in the 66 quart bin which is fine a lot of breeders use this type of setup it's very lightweight easy to maintain and uh, to clean and stuff and uh, you know as long as you have all the necessary things uh, in your enclosure for your bearded dragon to uh you know be properly maintained and you know have you have proper setup if you use a tub that's perfectly fine as long as they can't get out you should be all right uh, using this type of setup i also have over here i have i have this screen that's holding up my lights uh, it's from a different cage that i had a pac-man frog in a very long time ago and uh i don't even remember where the actual enclosure is but um that's what i'm using to hold these lights up i have this uvb lights and 150 watt heat bulb that keeps the basking temperature about 105 degrees, which is fine, and I'm measuring that with this uh, thermometer. As far as my substrate goes, I'm using this reptile carpet. I know I usually use a loose substrate such as sand, but um, I, you know, I figured if there's any risks at all, you know, for that, especially with little bearded dragons that are a bit more clumsy and uh, will, you know, chase after crickets and try and eat them, I figured I'll just keep it either bare or use this reptile carpet, which is fine and. Um, and I just didn't really want a lot of people telling me, Hey, you son of a bitch, you gotta keep your beautiful dragons on your carpet, no sand, you son of a bitch. And uh, so I figured I would do that. And uh, I have this little half log hide, a, a water dish, a food dish that has calcium. It's got some endive and some carrots that he actually eats a little bit of. I realize that a bearded dragon this size is probably not going to be eating that much salad in one day. And I'm going to have to replace it soon anyway, but I figured I would offer it to him. And any stray crickets can, uh, you know, go over there and uh, munch on the greens and uh, help pass those nutrients on to him. As you can see, he's taking off. He's like, yep, screw you, bro. Um, but he's sitting on some black slate tiles, which basically all it is for, I guess it, they help to keep his nails down a bit. But uh, they also heat up very well under the heat light and they stay warm when the lights go off. So he has a place to go and stay warm if it gets too cold at night for him and uh, he's got a little coconut hide right there that he can obviously hide in and he has a little Mopani wood uh, log that is attached to the coconut with a rubber band that uh, just stays in place and he can go up and climb on and uh, do have a slightly elevated basking platform as you can see and uh, yeah so overall it's a pretty decent setup you know it could be better but it could also be quite a bit worse uh, uh, so far, he's eaten a few small crickets and uh, some greens, which is pretty good for only having him for a couple of days. Um, so yeah, that's that's Niall, and that's pretty much all there is to say about him. He's a really awesome little dragon. I'm really excited about him. I know I said I would be, you know, taking a little break from the videos, trying to, you know, uh, keep my stress level down a little bit, but uh, I was just really, really excited about this bearded dragon, and uh, just really happy to have him. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, yes, thank Jesus he got one finally. Because, you know, people have been telling me on every video I've ever made, you know, you should get to be a dragon. So, uh, finally have one. And I'm very, very happy to have this little guy uh, in my little collection. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of Niall, please leave a rating. 
Uh, it helps me out a lot. Also, comments, you know, favorites. You can share the video if you want. Uh, you know, share it with your grandma or you know an ex-convict or you know whoever you want. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, just stay out of trouble, I guess. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later. Peace.